The feds are coming out swinging against TikTok. FBI Chief Christopher Wray today testifying on Capitol Hill. He's been very busy lately, saying the highly addictive app, quote, screams of a Chinese threat to the U.S. Watch him now. Could the Chinese government, through its ownership of ByteDance, that owns ByteDance US, if they wanted to, and, and, and ByteDance US were willing to cooperate or forced to cooperate, could, the, could they use TikTok to control data on millions of users? Uh, yes. Could they use it to control the software on millions of devices, given the opportunity to do so? Yes. This is a tool that is ultimately within the control of the Chinese government, and it, to me, it screams out with national security concerns. He told you he said that. Meanwhile, the White House backing a bill that could allow the government to regulate and ban foreign tech firms, including TikTok. Should President Biden block the talk? Is he a talk blocker? Let's get into it with tonight's party panel. We've got the host of The Guy Benson Show on Fox News Radio, townhall.com editor, and Roy's dad. It's Guy Benson. We've also got the host of the Undoctrination podcast, Olivia Rondo, yes, yes, and 2020 Libertarian Vice Presidential Candidate, Chair of YouArethePower.net. 2024 is next year. Let's have a beer, Spike Cohen. I mean, not literally, because I don't consume gluten, and it's showtime and family hour. Guy, I will start with you. What would a ban look like? Guy Benson. Man, I don't know. That would be so complicated because so many people love the app, use the app, are addicted to the app, especially young people who basically have phones as an appendage of their body at this point. Mm -hmm. But listening to some of the testimony today, it is a serious threat. I'm not so sure that the Chinese would necessarily use TikTok as a backdoor to take over everyone's phones or to mine data on some massive level in a way that would, like, I don't know, blackmail people specifically. What I am more concerned about, although I'm open to other elements of this, is very sophisticated anti-American propaganda being filtered through TikTok, uh, TikTok rather, by the Chinese Communist Party. Because mm -hmm. we've seen the Russians, for example, their propaganda efforts are pretty clumsy overall, right? They've got their bot farms and they've got Russia Today and that sort of thing. The Chinese effort could be a lot more sophisticated and going directly to the screen that tens of millions of young, impressionable Americans are staring at, sometimes for hours every single day. Oh, yeah. If you're not concerned about that, I think there's something wrong. No, it's very true. And uh, uh, Olivia, I'm concerned about it, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up with Spike in just a little bit. But I want to ask you, because they, that's how... I would say majority of young people, I would say younger than 16, get their news. They get it from TikTok, believe it or not. I try and have end the Fed symposiums at the dinner table that oftentimes fall upon deaf ears. But I'm giving it the old college try. <laughs> Should members of Congress and government officials have TikTok on their phones? Absolutely not. At the very least, it should be banned on all government devices. And if it truly is a national security risk, I'm not, I'm not against banning it for the entire country. However, I must point out the irony and the hypocrisy that it's the same agencies, the FBI, the NSA, intelligence agencies, telling us it's Chinese spyware. They're spying on you. But these are the same people 10 years ago, 15 years ago, who are telling us if, there's, if we don't have anything to hide, then we should have no worry about people spying on us by our own government. Mm -hmm. I think that we should be equally as worried about spies from our own government on our own phones as Chinese spies on our phones. That's, that is such a great point, Olivia. And I think that has been one of my frustrations this whole time, Spike, is, you know, people who are like, oh, we have to keep Section 702. We have to be able to spy on foreign bad guys, regardless of the warrantless abuses of power by a multitude of agencies, some of whom uh, Olivia just laid out. But sh if the government is really worried about spying, shouldn't they come clean about what they're doing and fix that first? Well, listen, Kennedy, I think one thing we've learned over the past several years is that when the NSA, the FBI, and the Biden administration say something, you can definitely take it to the bank that it is 100 percent true and that there's nothing notorious that they're trying to do uh, or trying to hide. Uh, let, let's be clear about something. They're saying that the Biden administration and every president after him should have the power to ban any foreign-owned company because they might 
do something. Not because they did do something or were proven to do something, but because they might do something. All of this fear mongering over what might or might not happen is based entirely on conjecture. And frankly, everything that they're saying that could be done on TikTok could also be done on Facebook mm -hmm. or on or by the NBA or through Disney or all the other ways that the Chinese government is influencing American politics and the American public. And frankly, and I've, I've said this before on this same program, when we talked about the Twitter files drop, I think the reason they're focusing on on TikTok, many years from now we'll find out, is because TikTok would not participate in the U.S. government wanting to do those things. But the bottom line here is that we have the U.S. government in a bipartisan manner, uh -oh. that's not good, in a bipartisan <laughs> manner saying that, Where goes the, the, camping uh, stove? that the, the, pres the president should have the ability to ban something uh, based on the fear that they might do something without any proof that they're actually doing anything. Yes, that could be, and, and to Guy's point, it would be very complicated. It could be very problematic. And when things like this are too vague and too broad, uh, that's when we see incredible abuses of power.